Yo, what's up guys, Raymond here. So today Dogecoin is on the move again. Super exciting stuff to see. So I'm gonna get into some details as to why Dogecoin is exploding here. Tons of positive catalysts. So today we're gonna look at the chart. We're gonna get into details and exactly the news that came out. And then we're also gonna make a bold price prediction here in the short term and the midterm. So there she is, Dogecoin, currently trading around 44 cents up a lot from that crash we saw here a couple of weeks back, dropped down to around 15, 16, 17 cents. And it's good to see that it turned right back around and just kept making higher highs. So that's awesome to see. If it was a case where people are saying that this coin is hype, this coin is a scam and there's no use case and blah, 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 that all these people were saying then, as soon as this thing would have hit that 48 cent, 50 cent mark uh, a couple of weeks ago, this thing would have just turned back around and crash back to where it began around, you know, a couple of cents or so. It'll turn around and then just went all the way back down here somewhere, but we did it. We came back 15, 16, 17 cents or so, stabilized itself, went higher. We did consolidate a little bit around this 30 cent range, and it was awesome. We were not going past that as far as to the downside, but then here we have seen some momentum, and there's a reason why we're seeing this momentum here today. So it's very good to see that. Uh, the price has indeed broken these resistance lines. If you if you were following the videos, we drew these lines a couple of weeks ago, and it's good to see that they were pretty much bouncing off almost exactly. So the lines that we drew were pretty much spot on. So now that we've broken up above this resistance here, um, I want to see a close above and then a retest of this uh, resistant turn support. So. Up here also is gonna be another level of resistance if it gets up that high around that 47 cent mark. It might get rejected, who knows? But if we do see a break above that 46 cent mark, as far as price action goes, and then a close above, and then a retest, and then a bounce higher, that's gonna be all the momentum we need because we're gonna set uh, new records, right? New highs when it comes to Dogecoin. Now we do have a double top situation here or we did have it right here we had two okay and then we did see that sell-off right that could have been a catalyst for that sell-off that double top and we could have potentially had a third top here but we didn't see that downside momentum right and we go to the 30 minute chart actually we broke or we had a breakout here right it could have gone two ways we could have had this top, it could have broken to the downside, and we could have seen more bearish pressure. However, we didn't do that. We didn't see that. We saw the upward pressure instead. So that's good to see. So we don't have a triple top situation here, and we're going to get into why we're seeing this momentum on Dogecoin. So really the biggest reason as to why we're seeing this momentum here today, this sudden upward shift, is because eToro exchange added dogecoin due to client demand today right so etoro is a super big exchange and it deals specifically in cryptocurrencies and they have 20 million users around the world that will now be able to trade the cryptocurrency dogecoin that's absolutely massive one of the biggest exchanges pretty much anywhere has gone ahead and listed dogecoin and the fact that they listed it due to client demand is just, it's just another catalyst. People want to go ahead and buy this coin, whether they want to swing trade it, whether they want to buy it and then just hold it for a few months, a few years, whatever it is that they want to do, they want to get access to this coin. And the fact that eToro is listening and went ahead and added the Dogecoin onto their platform, man, to be honest, this is absolutely mind blowing. And then... If we can see Coinbase follow suit, Coinbase, make sure you're listening to what I'm saying. We've talked about this multiple times. You guys need to go ahead and list, list Dogecoin. You guys have 40 million active subscribers or 40 million users of your platform. Go ahead and list the freaking coin so people can go ahead and start buying. People are interested in buying. And the more people that can get in and start buying, the higher this price is going to keep going. So look out for that as far as a coinbase listing i don't think it's a matter of if but a matter of when and since etoro has gone ahead and picked it up we have other people like Robinhood has it weeble has it i believe voyager have it 
Binance uh, has Dogecoin. Like these giant exchanges and these giant trading brokerages all have this coin, right? So it kind of just makes sense for Coinbase to go ahead and get in on the action. Another thing, just as a side note, is that the creator of Dogecoin, which is Billy Marcus, I believe his last name is, sent out a tweet that Dogecoin 1.21 is in active development right now. One of the changes being looked at is reducing the transaction fees. Dogecoin is meant to be fast, secure, and inexpensive to send around to be able to be utilized for small everyday transactions. So this is super, super good. In fact, this guy, Billy, he left the Dogecoin project uh, several years ago, I believe back in 2016 or something. And he said that he sold all of his Dogecoin for the price of like a Honda Civic or something back in those days. So he currently doesn't hold any Dogecoin, at least that he's disclosed or not, you know, that anyone knows of. He might, but I don't think so, because a lot of people have concerns about, you know, the creators of coins being like the whales or like the majority holders when it comes to the supply. Right. And we don't have this case when it comes to the Dogecoin owner. OK, so this is very good to see that there is active development on Dogecoin. So people that are saying that there's no use case and it's just hype and stuff like that. I mean, if we could see more people, I mean, the, the creator of Dogecoin has come back. Right. And he's starting to get involved in the project again. And if we can see people start to rally around this banner, pick up some more developers, you know, start to make some big changes as far as Dogecoin goes, you know, whether it's transaction fees, the speed, whatever it is, I mean, you're just going to make a bigger case for the use case of Dogecoin, right? Because right now it's more like a peer-to-peer -peer payment system that we have going. So this is awesome. And yeah, I mean, if you look at some of his tweets as well, um, he made, I saw something earlier that says something like, in terms of the whole Dogecoin is not a joke anymore. Dogecoin is a joke. Debate thing. Here's an official answer. Dogecoin is literally whatever the people want it to be. It belongs to no one and everyone. I find both amusing and worthy. Awesome. This is what cryptocurrency is, right? This is exactly what cryptocurrency is. We don't need the middleman with the banks and things like that. So we can get into more of that here actually as well. As usual, your boy Mark Cuban is on Twitter and he's tweeting up a storm and he makes some really, really good points, right? He says, as long as more companies like, as long as more companies take Doge for products, services, then Doge can be a usable currency because it may hold its purchasing value better than a dollar in your bank. If interest rates skyrocket or the amount spent falls or stagnates, so will Doge. Yes, a joke is now legit. This is something, this is kind of like a rallying cry. It's sort of like a banner. Of course, people are in it for gains, right? Of course, people want to get a good ROI, right? Good return on their investment. But at the same time, people are looking for something new, something fresh, something different, something that gets away from, you know, the, the corporate nature and some of the institutions and some of the systems that we have in place. Right. So that's why you're starting to see Dogecoin and these other cryptocurrencies start to go higher. He made another point. Crypto, not just about being more productive and effective, but also no longer dependent on trusted institutions. OK, ask PPP applicants how much they trust their big banks. Very, very, very low commercial banks. Banks are out to fleece you. OK, they're out there to back you into a corner and strip you of any sort of monetary value that you have. All right. They're not there for you. So that's what he's getting at. Do you trust your health insurer? Pay tons of money every month, every year, spend tons of money on health insurance. But do you trust them? All right. Crypto is trustless and a better way to handle many transactions. So. Again, these are some of the things that we want to think about when it comes to Dogecoin. I mean, you have the fact that eToro just listed it on their platform because of user demand. We have the creator himself of Dogecoin coming out from retirement, coming in, starting to work on some of the development stuff, maybe not full time or maybe not super seriously, but it's just good to see that, you know, People are starting to participate when it comes to Dogecoin. People are starting to participate 
when it comes to cryptocurrency. So as far as the price goes, again, I want to go ahead and see if the price moves you know, past that 40 cent mark, breaks above, comes back down to the support to retest, and then hopefully bounces and goes higher. Now, as far as market cap goes, when it comes to Dogecoin, Dogecoin currently, if we refresh, like we just said, it's 43 cents or so, all right? And it's up actually pretty significantly here today, 20 cents, not too shabby if I do say so myself. Currently has a market cap of $56 billion. And if we look at the overall cryptocurrencies, yes, Dogecoin is number five, has overtaken Tether, overtaken Cardano. I mean, the sky's the limit at this point. XRP, if you're not careful, Dogecoin is going to come and take you out, right? And then Binance Coin is going to be the next target. So Dogecoin just a couple of days ago was hovering around the level seven or eighth mark. And now it's number five as far as market cap goes. So guys, super exciting news. The price is going up. I would say hold the line. You know, if you're a believer in Dogecoin or whether you're just in it just to get a little return on your money, don't panic. The fact that we have stabilized, we're not seeing any wild, crazy, you know, 80% dips in hours and things like that. You know, just, just you know, rest assured, I would say. But uh, yeah, don't make any stupid decisions. Don't take any unnecessary risk. And I think you'll do just fine. So if you found this video entertaining, if you found it informative, you know, funny, helpful at all, please go ahead and hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe to the channel as well to receive more videos just like this one every single day on finance, personal finance, investing, how to build wealth, cryptocurrency, you name it. We talk about it here. And then check out Weeble. Pick up your two free stocks. And then BlockFi, if you have some cryptocurrency and you want to go ahead and invest that crypto over there with them and then get an annual interest rate on your cryptocurrency. So my name is Raymond and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.